Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 17 of the Victorian Mansion Let's Build. Guys, we're back today for another episode. It was quite clear in the comments that you guys wanted to see some more of this series, so I am back today. I'm going to continue working on the backyard landscape, and I'm probably also going to get to a little bit of interior today as well. We'll see how much we can get done today, and then go from there. So, uh, let me just give you guys some updates on the backyard, because I have added a lot to it since last time you guys saw it. Last episode, we added this kind of central part of it where it, you know, separates into four pathways. I put some benches around the fountain here so you can just kind of sit and gaze over the water. I added the gazebo back here. I decided to make the gazebo um, roof a little bit different than what we had before. I kind of made it match the actual house itself. So it's similar to something like over there. And that's kind of what I went for with that. It's got a little fire pit in the middle. Planted some trees behind that, and then this tree right here is probably like the greatest tree I've ever seen. I wish I could just copy and paste that one. That is a, that is a pretty tree right there. That's just good stuff. And also, I added the maze over here made out of the oak leaves. Decided to add this thing. Uh, I might actually not even keep it because it's a little bit too much oak leaves for my liking. Like, there's a lot of oak leaves in this backyard, and I think that's a little bit too many. So I might switch this out for tennis courts, possibly. Haven't decided 100% what I'm going to do with it yet, but... Um, as far as the maze goes, it is a nice looking maze. Here's the main entrance and then there's one exit over there. You kind of get fooled if you go that way because there's really no exit to it. So uh, I, I just kind of wanted to start off this episode guys by showing you a little sample, little tutorial I guess on how to build these mazes. It's really easy to build them and I kind of have like a little trick that I can show you guys. So let me grab some oak leaves real quick and I'll show you guys kind of how I do this. So um, as you can see, uh, this maze literally took like maybe 10 minutes to build, so I'll show you guys really how how this is done. So what I start with is I, I first off, I get my border and I just kind of decide how big I want the maze to be. So uh, we'll go, you know, for the sake of just like this little tutorial here, um, I'll just go with, let's say about uh, that big is probably pretty good. So whatever that is. And then once you kind of have your perimeter of how big you want your maze to be, then you have to come in and decide, well, this is going to be a one by one maze. So what I'm going to do is basically just take lines down each side on the, I guess, X and Y axis, if you're looking at it like a grid. And that's basically what it's going to be. It's just going to be a little grid, pretty much. So I'm going to start off like this. And uh, because this is a little bit unsymmetrical, I'm going to have to take this one out one extra block right here, just so we can actually, uh, it's not going to connect right to the edge. So uh, like this. And then once you kind of have one line done, then you can come back in and add the next one. And you just you just basically just build a little checkerboard, I guess you could say. And then, then I'll tell you how, what you have to do from there. So let me just make sure this is good. Yep, this is all symmetrical and looking great. All right, so let me just kind of fill this in real quick. This is how I do all my mazes. It's really easy. Uh, you start off with this basic thing and then you can kind of create the maze. So as you can see, we have a little checkerboard here. Next thing you gotta do is decide where you want your entrance to be. So let's say the entrance is gonna be right there and the exit will be right there. So you have your entrance and your exit. And then all you have to do is simply just kind of break blocks in this grid and you can kind of create your path. So let's say for example, uh, right off the start here, I want that to be a dead end, okay? So you kind of do that. And I want the pathway to kind of, I don't know, go this way. And what you can do is you can also kind of create your path to start, like the, uh, the path that actually gets you to the finish line. You can start off with that, so let's say, there we go. There's our finish line right there, right? You can start off with that and then you can add, um, you know, false doorways like as you go. So let's say um, I'll open up one right here and kind of have this go around and that's going to be like a fake area. Uh, let's say we do something like, think about this for a second. Uh, let's do this. Let's have this go all the way around like that. Um, let's have this go across right here and turn like that into that corner for a dead end. Let's have this one go down like that for a dead end. And then we can have another one go down right here. And then maybe one more right there. And I probably actually go like that. And that'll probably be a little bit better. So you kind of have, you know, a general idea. See, like just like that took me two minutes. I just made a nice little maze. And that's basically how I do those. So uh, just a little bit of a tip for you guys, um, how to make these. And it's really easy. So. Uh, that's my little tutorial. So let's actually get back over to the pool area. That's what I want to work on today. So just to give you a kind of an idea of what I'm doing over here, it connects to the pathway. It's actually elevated one block off the ground. Right here is the pool house. So I'll have all the pool storage stuff in there. Um, this second elevated area with more grass is going to be kind of just like a little lawn, an extra lawn. I'll put some lawn chairs up here, some 
areas where you can do some sunbathing and just some more decorative stuff to that. And that's kind of cool because it's, you know, there's like two different levels of the lawn. I think that's a cool feature. And then right over here on the other side of the pool house, we have a little garden right there. Basically, you know, the same theme as we've been doing throughout the entire build. So that's how that's looking. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this thing. Uh, I'm going to start off just by using some quartz blocks. And I'm just going to try to build the perimeter of the pool today, guys. And that's really what I'm going to go with. So I want to make this thing uh, not a square. I want it to make it kind of like a bean shaped, I guess you could say. So I'm just going to try to, you know, put something in here, see what I can come up with. And we can always kind of shape it out and figure out what we want to do with it later on. So uh, I'm going to start off like this and then have this go out three and then four. And let's go five uh, to there. So as you can see, it's kind of, uh, I didn't actually intend for that to happen, but it's kind of lining up with the, uh, the wall over there. So let's go four, then three. And this is going to actually going to get tight. So let's, let's actually lower this a little bit. Let's make it three. This is going to take a little bit of trial and error because obviously if it was just a square, it'd be really easy, but this is going to be a little bit trickier. All right. So let's do that. Let's have this go three. Have that pretty close to the edge. I don't want it to be too close to the edge of the pool house, so we got to be careful with that. So we'll have that go out two, and then one, and then another one. And then I think I'll go two, then three, then two, then three, then something like that. <laughs> uh, let's try that. That's kind of like our little shape for our pool. Let's see how that looks from an aerial view. That looks pretty good. I like that. Again, it doesn't have to be symmetrical or anything like that. It just has to, you know, kind of, so it's just, it's supposed to be not symmetrical. It's supposed to not be a square. So I think that's actually a pretty good shape. I think we can go with that. Let's do it. All right. So next thing we got to do is just kind of dig up the floor of the pool. This is the most annoying part, but it has to be done. And I might cut the video for this. I'm going to just get started on it and at least kind of get this first level broken. And then I'm going to refine the, the perimeter a little bit. I might switch out the perimeter. I'm probably going to end up doing that. Switch out for a different block instead of quartz. Uh, who knows, though? Maybe we'll keep it as quartz. Originally, I wanted it to do uh, to do it with uh, stairs, but it's hard to do stairs when you don't have a, a square pool or a rectangle or whatever. So I think I'll just stick with the full blocks, and that should be fine. But we're getting pretty close to being done with the exterior of this thing, guys. Uh, once I have this pool area finished um, and I decide whether I want to keep that maze or not, I think the uh, the backyard will be done. The front yard's already finished. So everything on the exterior of this Let's Build will be done, and that's going to be great. Um, so I, again, I still haven't decided if I'm going to make this the last episode of the series or I'll do a little bit of interior. Originally, what I was going to do is finish up the uh, exterior today, finish up the landscape, and then I was going to come in and uh, you know do one episode of interior where I'll just kind of fix up some of the walls of the house, uh, finalize the floor plan, um, and do like a couple of furnished rooms next episode and then after that I'll be done and then we'll do the tour after that So maybe I'll do something like that again. I don't really know yet It just kind of depends on how much I get done in this episode And the thing about building is I always overestimate what I can do in a certain period of time things always take longer than you expect so uh, Who knows how much I'll get done today's episode and how much I'll do you know for next episode if there is gonna be a next episode so Let's just kind of uh, dig out this floor. I'm gonna do just finish up this level right here, and then I think I'll take it down a few more levels off camera just to save some time. So, um, I, in fact, there's no point in me finishing the rest of this. So I'll just kind of uh, I'm gonna take this down maybe three levels. So it's a pretty deep looking pool, and uh, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, the pool has been dug out. So now the next thing to do is just fill it in with some water. So let's grab some water buckets. I made it four blocks deep with a lapis lazuli floor. I also put in some lights with some, I believe that's light blue or I think it's cyan stained glass with some glowstone behind it. So we're going to fill in the pool and then we'll see what we have to do after that. So let's just get this started here. Uh, I went with the lapis floor just because I don't use lapis lazuli very often. I thought it would be perfect for this. So let's just see how it looks again. We'll just fill in the water level by level. This used to be so difficult uh, filling in water with these pools, but they made it so much easier once they made water count as like a full block. So now it's just a piece of cake. You just go level by level and fill it in nothing to it so we'll get this thing filled in and then we'll see what we have to do next i think i'm going to work on that lawn up there i think that's going to be the next thing i'll do and uh, i'll see what i do from there actually i probably should not level by level guys come on all right here we go so let's get this last level filled in um i i think i might do the pool house a little bit in the interior of that uh, i mean nothing to it really i 
it, I basically just built the outside of it, so I haven't done any of the interior yet. I'm wondering, should I should I leave the pool like that? Um, kind of one block below the level, because I don't know if that's better or not. I kind of like that a little bit better, to be honest. To, so you kind of see it like that, and then maybe what I could do is I could actually add some slabs around the edge here, like this. That might not be a bad idea. Let's let's at least try it. Let's experiment with something I've never tried before. Let's add some slabs around the edges. And see how it looks. And if it looks bad, we can just switch it back. It's fine. Or maybe even switch it to... Or maybe stairs would look good here instead. Like that. Uh, nah, let's go with the slabs. I like the slabs better. I think I actually might keep this design. Just kind of looking at it from right here. It's a little bit different, but I like it. All right, so let's let's just start with this and see how it looks. Who knows? All right. Um, you know, I actually kind of like it. I really do. I think it just adds more dimension to it and just more depth to the place. I think I, I think I'm going to leave that. All right. So there's our pool. Uh, what I might actually do is kind of add like an edge to this. Add some slabs around the edge of this just so it's kind of you can tell the difference between the stone and then like the edge of the pool. I this just could be another little detail that I could add. And then I'm going to go on that lawn. But this pretty much concludes what I want to do with the exterior. Uh, other than add like chairs and things like that. But I'll just do that off camera. But this pretty much concludes what I want to do with it. Uh, so I think we'll move on inside in a second here. Uh, after just a few more things that I want to try. Alright, so let's just get this slabs run around the edges. This should be so much easier than it is. Okay. Uh, and last two. Nope. There we go. All right, how's that looking? Let's take an aerial view of it. I like that. I think that looks really good. So now I just have to add like a ladder into the pool and let's take an aerial view from like way, way up here where I started the video. I like it. I think that looks great. So we have the pool now. That That's a great addition because that was looking way too green back there. That, that little bit of blue really helps the place. So we have the pond in the front yard. We have the pool in the back. Everything's starting to come together pretty nicely. So... Uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to do with the exterior. Um, there's a few more things I can add to this to this yard. Uh, for example, I need to add some chairs around the pool, and I'm going to add maybe a tree or two up here, possibly. Uh, I need to furnish the interior of the pool house, which will take like five minutes. And then I have to decide whether I'm going to switch out the maze for tennis court, and then finally figure out what I want to do with that. So just some small things that I need to figure out that I'll do on my own time. So. Let's let's go inside, guys, and do a little bit of work on the interior, and see what we can uh, see what we can do in here. So, I have done a little bit of work in here. I added some fireplaces. I think I showed these uh, last episode, but I also started to switch out some of the walls. I think I switched this one out for birchwood. I think it was originally white stained clay. I think it was. Yeah, it was white stained clay. I switched out for birchwood, just a, a lighter wood. I think it looks pretty good in here. I don't really use birchwood too often, so this was a nice use for it. So. What I want to do is just kind of come around through these rooms and start to maybe switch up the walls a little bit and uh, you know change the colors. So for this room over here, this is going to be a bedroom. So I think I am going to switch this wall. Um, what color should I use for this? Maybe orange could look good. I might try orange actually. I'm, I'm, that might look really good. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the other colors. I definitely want to try to use as many of them as I can. So I'm going to use... Um, the gray or the cyan, I guess you say, uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use them all pretty much. Uh, so let's give orange a shot. So wait, hold on a second. That wall is green. So maybe we're going to do a green and orange in here. Let's, let's just take a look. Yeah. So I definitely want to keep that how it is. All right. So, or wait, maybe I can have this turning on this corner here and then make that orange. Let's just see how that would look. Uh, let's see. Should I have that turning? I, I don't know. I kind of liked it how it was, actually, to be honest with you. So I think I'll, I'll go back to what it was. Uh, wait, how do I do this? I guess I'll just do that. Yeah, sure. Why not? And there we go. We'll switch this back to the green. So that, that's fine. We can use some, uh, some green inside here. So maybe we'll do green wall as well. All right, so I'll take this down, and this is going to be a green wall. And have this run through here there's some still some sandstone there i didn't even notice that we'll fix that up 
But again, guys, I'm going to do a little bit of interior today. I, again, I don't like doing interiors on camera. This is one of those things where, you know, I just feel like I'm saying um over and over again because there's not a lot to say about it. It's just really filling in walls and placing stuff. So as opposed to, you know, being, you know, doing the exterior where I can explain what I'm thinking and things like that. So I'm not a huge fan of doing the interior on camera. I'll, I'll do a little bit today and I might do one more episode of interior. But other than that, I think I'm going to kind of just wrap this thing up and tour this for you guys. I don't want to run it off. I don't want to run the let's build too long because we've been going for a while now. All right, so we'll make that wall green because, you know, that would make sense. We don't want it to randomly change colors. Uh, this room, I don't know. I think this wall sticks out, yeah, to there. So it would probably make sense for me to make this wall green as well. So I'll go green here. This is the beauty of double stacking the walls, everybody. 10 out of 10, would recommend. You have to do this because it just, it just uh, you know, makes the interior pop and it's not the same colors as the exterior. This is something that, you know, everybody should do if they're doing a let's build or doing a build itself or whatever. Just just building the house. Double stack the walls. It makes the exterior separate itself from the interior, so. And vice versa. So there we go. We have that. And that's going to be the basement. I'll, I'll probably work on that later. I do really like the green. I would love to make as many rooms as possible this color because I think it looks fantastic. Uh, this wall here. So this room, you know, I'm going to make this wall orange, I think. We're going to have, like, a couple of tints. For this room i don't know if orange would be a good color to to go with green green and orange they go well together it's yet to it remains to be seen i guess we'll figure it out though so i'll place some orange down this reminds me of diversity <laughs> all right so we're gonna place the stained clay orange and green does that go yeah we'll, we'll we'll stick with the orange and green i'm trying to think of something like some, a logo maybe like a sports team or something that has orange and green as their logo I guess the Miami Hurricanes. This would be the Miami Hurricanes room. We'll go with that. We'll go orange and green. Let's say that the person who lives in this room is a Miami Hurricanes fan. So this room here would be orange and green as well. This would be a bathroom, so that's fine. I actually kind of like how the walls will have two tones uh, in, in each room. I, I think that's kind of cool. Um, you know, obviously I can't double stack the walls in the interior as well because then I just have no space. But... Uh, I, I think it's cool that some rooms have certain colors and some rooms have multiple colors. I think it'll look good when it's done. Uh, with the orange and green in here, this could be a pretty cool room, actually. So let's go with it. And of course, I'm going to use stained clay for most of these walls. Occasionally, I might come in and add some... Um, maybe maybe do one with wool. Unlikely, but maybe I'll do one with wool. Might do one with uh, some wood as well. That, that's That's more likely that I'll do one with wood. So here's orange. Uh, let's figure out what we want to do with this wall first. So this is going to be orange here as well, because that would make sense. Um, I think this is just going to go like that in here. So I'll just have that go up to the ceiling like that. And then this wall goes to the... Actually, no, we can make this wall orange too. Or we can make this wall any color we want, really, because there's nothing on the other side. So... Should we match that orange with that orange? I think maybe we should. And then this wall here can be a different color as well. Maybe maybe green. So it's like green there and green there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think I will do that though. I, th I think that's the idea I'm going to go with. So we'll do quartz. And we'll do orange here. And I think I am going to do green. That, that would be good. Because then I have to go back in the interior of the bathroom here. And I'm going to have to add green on that. So... Yeah, green would make the most sense in this case. Okay, so we're going to switch that out for some quartz. And then this is going to be... Should I make that green or orange? Maybe orange? Or maybe a different color completely. I, I don't want to go more than two colors on a room, ideally. So let's try, let's try orange for this one. Orange there. I think that looks pretty good with the orange. And then this wall here can be green. That sounds like a good idea. Or maybe this room can be completely orange. Decisions, decisions, I'll tell you. Uh, and then up here is going to be quartz. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for this wall until I decide what I want to do in here. So we have lots of options. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this entire hallway green. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me come up here with the quartz. I'm going to do this throughout the entire house, everybody. Like I'm going to use all the colors throughout the first and the second floor. Try to try to compensate for all the colors. Okay, so this so I've decided that this hallway is going to be green. 
other than you know the entrance. I think the entrance is still gonna stay as light blue, I think is what it is. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep the entrance as light blue because I think light blue is, well, that's the original color I chose, so I'm gonna go with that. All right, so let's make this green here. We'll see how that looks on the inside of all these rooms. So, so when you kind of walk in here, we got this green hallway that leads into this green room and this green room, this one's birch. And then inside here, we have orange and green. In here we have, ooh, we gotta pick another color in there. And then this room is sandstone. This was the only room I was unable to double stack. And then what else? What else do we have? And then over here we have a, a uh, green hallway. And then in here is mostly orange. Obviously this is gonna turn into green. Okay. I think this is gonna look pretty good. So, there we go. So we have a green orange room in here. All right, so it's time, it's time to add another color to this. Uh, well, first off, I'm gonna make sure that I add the quartz throughout this whole place. I'm gonna start to line these walls with quartz. All right, and right here and up here. Still gotta do the foyer, line that with some quartz. So we'll do that right now. So right there, and then this is gonna get lined as well. I'm gonna try to grab that block. Uh, what should I do with this? I think I'll, yeah, why not? Just keep keep following the same theme. So this as well, I just kind of get this going. So I'll do this for a few more walls and I think I'm gonna be done for today, guys. Um, I'm definitely going to to just kind of, I don't know, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another episode. I guess if you see it, then it'll, it'll happen, but I'm really not sure yet. Okay, so that wall needs to stay how it is. So I actually, essentially, I can't actually take quartz across there, which actually does create a little bit of problem. Um, maybe I should undo the quartz for the foyer. You know what? I think I actually am going to do that. The, the foyer is not going to have any quartz lining at, on the ceiling. On the, the lower level, it can. Or I got right out on the edge of the floor, it can. But I think on the ceiling, I'm going to leave it, you know, just go from quartz transition to the ceiling straight back to the stained clay. So we'll just kind of take that out. And I think that will be the best thing to do just to kind of account for every single wall so in here no idea what that color is going to be yet um bathroom is solved so we kind of have like oh wait we gotta switch this out but i was saying we kind of have you know most of the first floor's walls wall color figured out we have pretty much all of that over there uh, we have to figure out this bathroom in here let's let's figure that out uh, what's a color that would look good with green i think we could just make this whole room green or let me let me look at the colors again um, maybe green and light green. That could look pretty cool. Just like two tones of green. Anyway, all right. So we have kind of like this whole area done. Now what do we have to do? Uh, let's take a look at the kitchen. Figure out what color we're gonna do in here. And I think that'll be it for today. So, the kitchen. Maybe this color, this light gray. I don't know. This color is kind of eh. Let me put some glowstone down in here. Uh, let me look at the colors again. Um, no red. I don't like red. Uh, cyan might look okay, but I'm not sure for a kitchen. Yeah, this color, I don't know. Could that look good? Or maybe we just stick with the, uh... You know, actually, because this wall here can't change because of this room, I think I might just leave the kitchen that color. I think I might do that. And then as far as this room is concerned... I can change this room to whatever color I want. So maybe I'll do this room in this color. Because we gotta use this color at some point. So we'll use this color in this room, which is light gray, I think. Well, it doesn't look anything like light gray. I, I kind of wish the stained clays looked like they, you know, like they suggest that they do. All right, so let's put that back. Uh, I gotta add the quartz lining on the bottom. Again, I'll just do this next to the floor, not next to the ceiling. And there we go. I think... Oh, wait. Nope. One more level up here. There we go. So, throw a glowstone back down. So, this wall is a little bit nicer. I like it. So, I think that's kind of like... like oh, my God. That looks amazing. Holy crap. When you walk straight through... Wow. The view from this room it just got like... Since I added the backyard, the view from that room looks awesome with, that, with the fountain. And then you can see the gazebo a little bit in the background. Wow. Like, you could probably see like all the way through. Huh. That's it. That just worked out really nicely, didn't it? That's awesome. So thanks for watching, everybody. The view from this 
from this uh, window here is is just really nice. So I'm imagining if you go upstairs to the uh, the master suite, right? The um, the master balcony probably looks. There's probably an amazing view from that master balcony. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is this is nice. This is really nice with the fountain. You can see the fountain. You can see the pool, kinda a little bit. But I'll tell you what, that that window right here, that bit window has a heck of a view. It's all symmetrical and perfect. I like it. I'm really happy with it. So, uh, guys, I guess next episode or, you know, depends on what we do. But um, I'll either have another episode or I'll have the final tour. So I guess you'll find out when you find out. Uh, I, I would say there's a good chance that I'll do another episode of some interior. And then I'll probably have the landscape completely finished by the time you see me again. Uh, whether it's a tour or whether it's one more, you know what? Let's let's make it decisive. I think I am gonna do one more episode of building at least, where I'll do some interior. I'll actually furnish some rooms for you guys. Uh, that way you have a little bit of inspiration for that. And then after that, we'll uh, we'll call it quits on this. Let's build and do a final tour of the whole thing, with all the rooms furnished and everything. So I'll get to that as well, and you know, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching, everybody. It's been Dan Langs. Hopefully, guys enjoyed it. We got some landscaping done today. We got the pool finished. Well, almost. And then we got some walls put in on the interior. So everything is starting to come together really nicely on this Let's Build 17 episodes in. I'll see you guys on episode 18. We'll do a little bit more interior. Until then, guys, have a good day and peace out. Mm -hmm.